Welcome to this episode of Game of Leadership, the podcast for curious leaders. I'm Paula Eddy Wilcox, and I'm delighted to welcome our guests for the second time, where we're looking at their take on the game and leadership aspect of the podcast. Who knows what we might find out, because we all look at this differently, and it's always so interesting to see what the guests have in store for me when I turn up, because we never plan this in advance. So I hope you're as excited as me. Let's get into it and I'll see you on the other side. Welcome to this week's episode of Game of Leadership, the podcast for curious leaders. I'm Paula Eddie Wilcox and I'm joined today by Natalie Mai, body and mind coach for female entrepreneurs and boy, does she make a difference in their lives. Welcome back, Nat. It's lovely to see you. Hello, it's lovely to see you again. <laughs> Excellent. So today's episode, uh, as we continue that theme of leadership, of course, where we're leading self, others and our businesses or within our organisations, um, we are looking at Nat's take on game and leadership today. So I'm really excited about this episode because all sorts of things come up. Guests have come up with stuff that I would never even have imagined about. And everybody has a unique lens of looking either at the word game, what it means to them. Um, should it be in the same sentence even as game and leadership? So um, over to you, that. what's your take? Um, it's a really good question and I thought about it um, a lot to be honest um, because as you may have noticed German uh, German is my first language and not English so um, every time when I look at the word that I feel like it's a special word in English then I think about it in German and okay. sometimes I come up with if they come up with different meanings so for me, game, when I had like Game of Leadership, the first thought obviously was Game of Thrones. Of course. Right? <laughs> of course. <laughs> I, I, I'm honoured that you get the reference. <laughs> I'm like, okay, that's pro. that was the point. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we should do a movie night when yeah, I'm exactly. in the UK. <laughs> we'll hold that thought when you're over. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I love Game of Thrones of thrones so i have oh. to say that I, I i admit it <laughs> yeah do you know what that's exactly where this came from as as you know we we've you know laughed about it before but it is that there is so much in a game you know who's to define what a game is um you know because all of the twists plot twists and turns mm -hmm. within game of leadership just when you uh, sorry in game of thrones just when you thought it was settling yeah. something else would come in left field and and it would all go wrong again and, and you'd be like rooting for the underdog and you know, it, was just, it was just a mad what was it 10 seasons in the end yeah. <laughs> like, never ending story yeah. and when <laughs> they it have gone up it, forever and ever yeah and when it ended it was like I'm grieving. What am I going to do with my life? <laughs> <laughs> Terrible, isn't it? Yeah, I feel we all felt the same <laughs> at that point. <laughs> but it's interesting how you would say that, like the the twists um, that were in 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 the episodes, and I feel like being a leader or just life in general. Um, there's in life in life in general, or in in your in your job in the corporate world or in your own business there's so many twists like in mm -hmm. life um and it's not linear so it's like up and down and um that's just part of of life and also like part of the daily basis because you never know what's we wake up in the morning and we not we not know what's gonna happen mm -hmm. um we can make a plan but sometimes the universe has other plans yeah. so um we have to um, be able to be open as well and to be, um, you said like reactive to situations. Yeah. So, um, and be open and, and, and have that, um, flexibility, um, mm. to, to kind of react in different situations. 
and for me game like game of leadership uh, coming back to your question what is game for me i uh, in the first episode i talked about the playground and for me there's like playing games as a kid um and when you have a game for me a, a game for me is also for example um um a football game like um and when i was younger i used to play football and then you have like in the game you have different players um, and they have um, different strength and weaknesses, even though I don't really like the word weakness. Mm -hmm. um, but um, that's why there are different positions um, yes. in, in, a, in a team um, of, of football players. And it's the same in the corporate world. When you have your team, you have different players um, in, in different positions. And there it's just about how to position each player at the right um how to place how, what did i say how to place <laughs> the right <laughs> in the right position exactly that was <laughs> thank <That's> you right. <laughs> at least you knew what i was going to say <laughs> yeah I'm, I'm i'm totally aligned i'm in the zone with you <laughs> i'm glad <laughs> um I think that that's really important and um sometimes we have to also just try different things and see mm -hmm. if that works out and if not then we have to rearrange it do you know what as soon as you said that i was like yes <laughs> because that is exactly that approach to to life to your leadership whether you're leading yourself others you know your business um so in this case leading that team of players as you're talking about in your analogy having that let's just say you came at that with a fixed mindset mm -hmm. what what's going to happen somebody tries something they fail and okay let's move on so constantly the team's under pressure to look for something new because something didn't work first time so they're moving on to something else so there's pressure building there mm -hmm. um they can never they never get that lovely creative moment of developing something tweaking it trying it again tweaking it trying it again and getting it to that point where it's fit for purpose and it's yes. good to go yes you know what what a shame to not be able to mm -hmm. harness all of that creativity on the field or in the room um, when you when you have a fixed kind of mindset approach mm -hmm. flip that on its head and adopt that growth mindset isn't it incredible what can be achieved as a team Absolutely. in that game as you say you know as a leader um and you know being a leader within a team not necessarily leading the team as well because as as we've said we all lead ourselves mm -hmm. being able to see those opportunities being able to to grab the bull by the horns as we might <laughs> say in english you know to really go for something really try and make it work um and and have that passion an energy and commitment to to making it work Absolutely. that makes a very different yes. place to work yes so. i i couldn't agree more and i'm coming back to the first episode where i said also it's important to just press pause here as well to take a to mm. take a moment to reflect to observe as well as a leader in a team um and also not only for yourself, but also like for the team and and take that time because I feel like we are in a in a in a world where everything has to be quick and and um and, and we've got so many stimulus how is it stimulus? No. Stimuli. Stimuli. And uh, we get like overstimulated and we talked yeah. about it as well in the first episode. Um and there as well, like take a break, take a pause and reflect and observe um all the players and and have that open conversation and and doing your best to get away from that fixed mindset 
and I know it takes time as well to do that, um, but it's it's worth the time um, taking absolutely. Yeah, yeah, I love I love that idea of time. Things mm. take time. You know, we think. we are living in a world where everything is at our fingertips. Mm -hmm. Everything's instant. Yeah. You know, you can go on to um, Google hashtag other search engines are available, um, <laughs> you know, <laughs> and basically have the answer right there and then. And it's it's just, you know, when it comes to something being a bit more difficult, you have to work a little bit harder to get it. A lot of, especially our youngsters, are finding that quite hard. Mm -hmm. You know, well, well, why isn't it instantly available? Mm -hmm. You know, um, God, randomly popped into my head just now <laughs> was a YouTube video my husband was watching recently. He follows um, a few people on YouTube, you know, as you do. And um, one of them is a um, Sam the Cooking Guy. Um, he's really great. He's an old, old man who has his um, own restaurants. Um, what's it called? Not not tacos, I think, in um, San Diego. Lovely guy. Um, and he did a trip to um, to Japan. And um, oh no, now I've got a. A buzzing thing trying to come in the window. Excuse me a second. There we go. <laughs> Emergency averted. <laughs> if, if it's a wasp, I'd really try not to freak out on camera, but honestly, I would really freak no. out. On <laughs> and I know it's totally yeah. irrational. But yeah. anyway, so there was no need to. Oh, Emergency yeah. averted. Anyway, yeah. so um, he went on a trip to Japan and documented it for YouTube. And um, why did this pop into my head, Nat? It was about the instant, everything being instantly mm -hmm. available. Yes. And I, I think he was in Hong Kong. Um, that was part of the trip anyway. And um, they had vending machines with what he described as the best egg salad sandwich in the world in them. <laughs> <laughs> I know it sounds so bizarre. That, that is um, bizarre. <laughs> It is bizarre. I don't, you know, when you can't quite believe what you're watching. And yeah. This <laughs> a couple of years ago, but there is another um, foodie that that my husband follows, who's also been to Japan and done the same. Thing. No. And like they go to like um, Circle K or or um, mm -hmm. Londis in in England, like your local corner shop kind mm -hmm. of thing, um, and they've got the same. Whereas here. Our massive supermarkets can't even get an egg salad sandwich right, you know. And yet over there they're doing it <laughs> instantly available gourmet sandwiches. Interesting. <laughs> so, that's a really random fact of the day. If, so now you know how my brain goes off at a tangent. <laughs> yeah, it happens to all of us. <laughs> and it's it's imp it's important to also allow it, but it's I feel like it's also important to. To then say okay i really take a break now i pause and and as you said like for the youngsters it's more challenging because they have almost everything immediately they have access to mm -hmm. all of the things that we didn't have that once upon a time right yeah exactly. um, so um we had to learn different strategies and they have to learn different strategies now as well and and finding a, a, a the right fit though um, can be challenging yeah i agree and i feel certainly for for my daughter i feel a sense of responsibility to help mm. her to understand that she's got to save up money for something mm -hmm. for example she can't just oh mum can you get it for me and i'll pay you back mm -hmm. no no mm -hmm. it's not bank of mum yes. <laughs> and do you know what i was about to say something and immediately in my head i went oh my god you sound like your dad don't say that paula uh -huh. which was Dad's not an endless pot of money you come to when you want some. <laughs> See? Another great example to see how our parents or like guardians or leaders um impact us. Completely. Influence us. Yeah. So there you go. And I probably have said that to my daughter. <laughs> I, I would 
probably say the same to my kids. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But no, you, you know, point being that you've got to, yeah. you've got to put in the work, you know, and I say yeah. this to my clients, you've got to commit. Yeah. You, well, yeah. first of all, you've got to decide what you want, of course, yes. what's important to you, what is it that you're working towards, then you've got to put in the, the planning, and the time, the energy and the effort and take the action to make it happen. And that that really is leading yourself to, to grow and develop. And we talked in the first episode about pushing yourself outside your comfort zone mm -hmm. to go get those things that you really want. And coming back to your analogy um, of the, the team of players, all with different strengths um and you said you don't like the word um weaknesses um that and I, i'm i'm a bit similar i kind of don't know why i'm a bit sort of averse to the word i suppose it's what it what it um uh what's the word i'm looking for what it um what people think it means I guess is what I'm trying mm. to say. There's a word for it, but I can't think of it just now. Um, and it's uh, really just thinking about um, the gaps in the team. Yes, so yes. you bring someone else that has that strength to fill that gap. Mm -hmm. So, you know, that's, that's the way I kind of look at the team. And imagine the whole team behaving in that way where they – decide collectively what they're working towards so that purpose that team mm -hmm. purpose talk about purpose a lot i help my clients connect with mm -hmm. it and it's then they're putting in that planning time they're giving time for creativity it's a safe space now we're thinking about high performing teams here because these are all yes. all things that that you know make give that team that ability to be high performing you know and then imagine what's possible it's fascinating isn't so much. it yeah absolutely two different teams yes. fixed team mindset growth team mindset brain just goes absolutely. with what's possible yeah and i love that you said like that collective choice that you have well we all have a choice ourselves mm. right you have a choice people always say like yeah. i don't have a choice but yes you actually do have a choice in most of the things not in everything but like in most of the situation, you do have a choice. Um, and collectively do something is so powerful, but you have to be also vulnerable and open and and uh, make a commitment, um, but also um, make compromises. So it's, it's not all about you when you are in a team, it's about um, having that conversation and, and finding a way that works for all of the members mm. yeah you're absolutely right it is about finding the way to work together successfully yeah, yeah. you know and um honestly debate along the way challenge really healthy you know mm -hmm. if you're all sort of um going with the flow and oh mm. yeah that's okay and just agreeing when inside you're going oh i don't want to do it that way <laughs> i think we can do it a different way you know that's not going to help either yeah yeah for the for the leader of the team the beauty is in creating that space for the team to mm -hmm. feel safe so i talk about psychological safety feel safe to share their views share their ideas share their creativity um to fail without fear of consequence yes. and that is the key you know to the to the success of the team i think absolutely yeah i couldn't agree more yeah so oh you know what Natalie absolutely fascinating you know getting your take on on game you know and as, as I said at the start every single guest comes at this with a different idea and a different viewpoint and I think um you know the fact that you well let me just nod to something else you know you you speak quite a few different languages the fact that you're, you know, you're speaking to me fluently in English, translating back to German as your mother tongue and, and thinking about all these different meanings and what, it, you know, you are 
incredible woman on many, 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 many layers. Oh, you're it's making just, me blush now. <laughs> oh, no, I'm not, I'm not, you know, I don't mean to do that, but just to acknowledge that I'm truly grateful because, you know, in my role, I interact with so many different people globally, all speaking different languages, different cultures, um, and it's so fascinating to learn more and and expand my understanding and my mm. knowledge of um, what's going on in the world, um, you know, in Switzerland right now, in your lovely apartment. Um, it's just <laughs> it's truly an honour. And for you to show up and talk in, in my mother tongue is is not gone amiss. So thank you for that. Oh, it's my pleasure. Thanks for having me. And thanks for giving me that opportunity as well. Oh, you're very, very welcome. And I am, I'm a little, little bit, there's always a little bit of sadness, but I'm super excited. We've got you back for one more episode next week. Um, and then I'm hoping at the end of it, um, you can hear my dog barking outside the door. Sorry about that. Um, she wants to come in, but uh, she can wait a minute. Um, so she's, uh, so yes, just to say that we've got you for one more episode and I'm hoping by the end of episode three with you that we might be able to persuade you to come back another time. <laughs> Absolutely. There's no need to persuade me. <laughs> oh, well, we're on it. So it's recorded, folks. You heard it here first. That's, That's my commitment. In the future. Fantastic. I always love having a chat with you, Paula. You know that. Oh, fabulous. Well, thank you for today. And um, yeah, we'll see you next time. Thanks, Nat. Yeah. Take care. Thank you for listening to today's episode of Game of Leadership, the podcast for curious leaders. I always think the game episode is one of my favourites because we get a real insight to our guests' take on their ideas of how games and leadership fit together. Every one of them is different and um, just when I think there isn't another take that we haven't thought of or covered, one of our guests comes up with something totally different and unique. It's really exciting. Look, now it's your turn. See what you think, see what resonated with you most. And as always, I encourage you to reflect on what you've heard and see what that might mean for your leadership moving forwards. I'm Paula Eddie Wilcox, and this is Game of Leadership, the podcast for curious leaders. I really look forward to seeing you all next week. Bye for now.